Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the force per unit length along a wall using Rankine's method. So here's our example. We have a retaining wall and we have two layers of soil on the one side of our retaining wall. We have clay, which is four meters in depth. We have properties Cu equals 10 kEPA, Phi U equals seven degrees and Gamma Sat equals 16 kilojoules per meter cubed. We then have a two meter layer um, sand, two, two meters of sand with C dash equals zero, phi dash equals 34 degrees, and gamma sat equals 20 kilonewtons per meter cubed. We're then told that we have an active failure immediately after construction, okay? So we know that for active failure, we use the formula sigma H equals sigma V minus two C square root of N subscript phi over N subscript phi. So that formula is going to be used throughout this example because we have an active failure. We then split up our layers into clay and sand. So in just in this video, I'm going to be looking at the clay layer. In the next video, I'll be looking at the sand layer. So let's go. Layer 1. So we have 4 meters of clay. What we need to do, first of all, is look at what type of analysis we're going to be doing. So we do that by looking at the question. We have a clay layer and we're looking at the immediate short term. Okay, so what we...